Hey guys, what's up? This is Brian coming from GNA Today. So in this video today, what I want to talk about is how the barrel length affects the velocity of the rounds that you're shooting. And I'm going to be testing this with 22 today. So um, I've already done this shooting. I've already been out on the range and did this. And what I did is I took that rifle right there. That's the Walther Umarex G36. Has an 18 inch barrel. And um, I definitely have more practical rifles for sure to do that with. But I thought, why not? So that's got an 18 inch barrel. Of course, dumb me, like always, got out there and realized that I did not have a magazine, didn't bring a magazine with me, so I had to load them by hand. Um, but anyways, I was able to get done what I needed to, just took a little bit longer. So that's an 18-inch barrel. Then I have this Ruger Charger, this pistol that has a 10-inch barrel, and uh, so just getting shorter and shorter. Then I have this Taurus TX-22 Competition that has a 5 and a quarter inch barrel. Then I have my Ruger LCP-2-22 that has a 2.75-inch barrel. And then all the way down to this little baby guy, uh, North American Arms 22 Revolver. I think that's the name of it. I've tried to find the, the uh, model name. That's actually my brother's. Been borrowing it for the last few days for a couple videos. But anyways, just going all the way from 18 inches to 10 to 5.25, 2.75, all the way down to 1.125. It has a 1 and 8 inch barrel. And that's probably about as short a barrel as, as I could probably get. So glad I had that because it worked out perfectly for that. The longer the barrel, the faster the rounds go. It's just just the way physics works. It just has longer for, uh, in that barrel it has longer for the more force to be, you know, applied to the projectile as it's leaving. Of course, that would be true up to a certain point. If you had a 50 inch barrel or a 100 inch barrel, the friction after that long would probably slow it down. But up to a certain point, the longer the barrel, the faster it's going to go. And just going to show that in, in uh, what happened through this video. Okay, so I shot five different types of rounds in these. Um, let's see, what order did I do it in? I guess I did Blazer first. This is a 40, 40 grain and it states, I can't remember, 12, 35 or 1255. I will have that annotated. Okay, then next I had a Velocitor, which has a 40 grain projectile and stated to have 1435 feet per second. Then I believe I shot this Federal Suppressor, which is a 45 grain projectile and I think it's rated at 790 feet per second. Yep. Then I shot some of this new Federal Punch stuff. This stuff screams. Um, it's a 29 projectile and 29 grain projectile. And when I first saw the 1070, I thought, well, what in the world is special about that? But then if you read down here, it says out of a two inch barrel. So out of a um, out of that 18 inch barrel, it definitely was going faster than that 1070. And I'll show you that on the video. And then the last one that I shot was just a little bit of Stinger. And I think I only shot this in, in two of them just to compare it to the Federal Punch. But on the Stinger, it's rated, it's a uh, 32 grain projectile and it's rated at 1,640 feet per second. Of course, I forgot my mag on this. So we're going to test the difference that the barrel length makes on velocity and I could definitely brought out a more practical one but I thought what the heck not I'm just gonna shoot with this
no faro. Vou pôr aqui. Agora eu tenho. Okay. 151 Ooh, 778, that's crazy. 794. Guys, I'm shooting the Federal Express with the TX 23.
in videos in the past, I've always said, you know, the shorter the barrel, the slower the projectile is going to go. And I've known that from other videos. I just wanted to have my own basically standalone video that, you know, I, I could know, you know, the difference in, in velocities between the different barrel lengths. Be coming from GNA today. Thank you so much for watching.